Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. With our last break of the night, 2018 Panini Donruss Optic Baseball. This will take us right to the end of the broadcast. Pick your team number five. So thanks to all these folks for joining us and breaking with us on the 20th. On a Friday night, thank you. Dustin with that last ball mojo Diamondbacks. He's got a lot of teams and everyone else right here, too. we got Dustin watching live, TJ watching live, Joe Flores watching live. So thanks, everyone, for hanging out. And breaking with us another long day of a ton of breaks. This will be our, uh, I think this will be our ninth break of the night. So thanks everybody, thanks for getting into the action. And a lot of big hefty breaks too. We've got one more night tomorrow, and we have more Donruss Optic Baseball that I'll post after I go off air later tonight. So if you're watching live, you want to snag your teams. should have posted it before I started the break. Sorry. But I don't have a pause button on this recording. I just got to keep going. So those of you who wait till the end will be rewarded or watching live and wait till the end will be rewarded with a fresh case of Donner's Optic Baseball that you can get into. And you can snag your teams before, before really anybody else. All right. Good luck, everyone. As you know, there are two autograph hot boxes per case and two uh, parallel hot boxes where every pack has a parallel uh, in every case. Now, what we've noticed, this is just a little extra edge for you playing at home, it generally seems that the last two boxes, or I guess the bottom two boxes, are generally the autograph hot boxes. So I guess if you open the case from the top, it would be the top two boxes on whatever this side is right here. So kind of visualize it flipped around, I guess. And obviously, if I open the case from the other way, and this side was actually this side, the one that says hot boxes on it, I think it'd be on the bottom. Whatever. You guys can, you guys, you guys get it. You guys get it. All right. So we're going to breeze through this here. Now, just in the interest of time, Nick Williams, we're going to, we're going to sleeve and top load those. Um, at the end of the break, or after I go off air right here, so stuff like that Benintendi variation. I know, I, I, I was trying to do it. Nice Ozzy Albius autograph. Joe Flores is like too late to be trying to flip the boxes around in my head and figuring out what position they're supposed to be in. I tried to do that. I was like, yeah. Big Hit Express running out of gas a little bit, so I was just like, forget it. I'll let you guys figure it out at home. Sen Yin with the Braves. Adrian Beltre. The Rangers almost made a made a full comeback, but left le left left uh, bases loaded, bottom of the tenth. Didn't couldn't quite pull it together. Indian scored a run the top of the eleventh, and then that was that. Brett Phillips for the Brew Crew. That'll go to Dustin. Dustin on the board. As you know, vet base doesn't ship, but obviously rated rookies will ship. And um, for example, that Mike Trout will ship. Obviously, it's a refractor, not just the regular, not just the regular card. So even though it's not a variation, you can tell the variations if the baseball is black. That will still ship. Most of you know the drill by now. Kirby Puckett for the Twins, orange out of 199. And Giancarlo Stanton, 2017 MVP. And Ahmed Rosario out of 199. We're just in the first box, Brandon Thomas. No Pirates yet.
All right, second box. Good luck, everyone. So, ladies and gentlemen, my, my baseball picks of the day are back. I had Atlanta plus 155. They won. They beat the Nationals. They beat Strasburg in the Nationals. What happened in that game? I actually didn't really pay attention to that game a little bit earlier on the day. The Braves won 8-5. to five. And the, the MLB.com headline says, Acuna catalyzes Braves offense, catalyzes Braves from leadoff spot in win. Acuna Jr. was a triple shy of the cycle as the Braves took the second half opener against the Nationals. Charlie Culberson, former Dodger, I think, also homer for Atlanta, which removed Ozzy Albius, which removed Albius for precautionary reasons after hamstring tightness. Strasburg allows six runs in his return from the DL, while Matt Adams straight turned to Juan Soto homer for Washington. Yeah, I um, think the reason for choosing this, the, the, how I make my picks, ladies and gentlemen, in case you were wondering, for entertainment purposes only, of course, is just kind of finding value. Yeah, six runs. It's kind of finding value in um, in the lines, in the odds, right? the money line. So I use a couple different different metrics to figure out what the... The places like 538.com, if you look if you look on that website, will show you the percentage. There's Mike Trout Blue to 149 of what they think the percentage of the team to win. They'll show those percentages. I convert those into a money line, the odds. There's Cameron Gallagher for the Royals. That'll be for Kip Kip Hooray. And then I compare them to what the book is offering. And then I'll be like, all right. If it's super close, if the books are spot on, you know, then I'll usually pass on the game. There's out of Altuve out of 149. But if there's a discrepancy. Let's say there's, the books consider a team too much of a dog or too much of a favorite. Then that might be a team that I, I would go for. You're finding value, just like in case breaks when you're picking your teams. You know, let's say you have a set budget. There's Corey Kluber at 99, and you're like, all right, I looked at this team. You know, it's uh, my budget is $35 or whatever, 40 bucks. There's Machado, had a nice debut as a Dodger. And there's, nice, Ahmed Rosario. Herman Ahmed Valdez Rosario, nice. He's got a cool autograph. That goes to the Mets, Dustin, with that one. So anyhow, that's how I find the value. That's how I choose. And then, you know, and then after that, I'll break it down into, you know, lefty-righty matchups, especially with lefties. Some teams are just terrible against lefties. Match all that up. Kind of use my just general baseball knowledge. And I'll be like, okay, I'll go with these teams today. Today I went with the uh, Braves because there was definitely some value there. Bra Braves have a good offense. Nationals just have not quite looked right. And so I was like, Braves at plus 155. With the calculations, there is some value there. And then I was just like, might as well just go for it. Strasburg off the DL. I think Strasburg hasn't looking, been looking quite right either. You know, and first starts off the DL are often a little bit of a struggle. So there you go. That was the thought process in that game. The Twins were my next pick. They were minus 125. I picked the Twins. Why did I pick the Twins? Must have been a good reason why. They were close. Just, we just like to have fun with this, folks. 
Twins. Danny Duffy stays hot and shuts down the Twins in KC win. Duffy threw. Ah, g -Lo saying Twins never win against Danny Duffy. Okay, I'll, I'll keep that in the back of my head. Danny Duffy threw uh, seven innings of one-run ball while Lucas Dudo homered and drove in two to beat the Twins. Perez added a two-run double for Kansas City. And Minnesota starter Kyle Gibson allowed four runs over five and a third. I think I liked, I think I liked uh, Kyle Gibson. There was some, some extra value there, but... They were the slight favorites. I thought they were going to be able to do it, but I guess the Twins never win against Annie Duffy. They lost that matchup. The Rangers matchup, I'm sure, while you were watch, watching the live stream, as I said before, Rangers plus 168 got real close. But didn't quite get there. They were heavy dogs. I guess that's the reason why. They had good value and they were at home. Gave them a little extra. Um, Astros are minus 118. Astros are generally heavier favorites in that, so that's already good value. There's Cody Bellinger. It's just a variation. And the Angels hate left-handers. Is this an autograph? Wow, there it is. Shohei Otani. That goes to Robert Watch the Throne. With the Angels. Nice. Hollow or a silver refractor autograph, whatever you want to call it. There you are. Nice. That goes to Robert Throne and the Angels. Congrats. Thanks for getting the Angels, Robert. Scared mine don't make money. That should cover the spot, even though it's not numbered. I'm almost certain that it will. Got Aaron Judge. Got a variation there. Mickey Mantle, another variation. The Mick. We'll save one of these for you, Robert. One of, the, one of those Otanis running. And George Springer red to 99. Ben Benintendi blue to 149. And points, which takes the place of the second auto. And that'll be randomized to one person in the break, of course. And we got an Eddie Matthews out of 199. All right, another nice box in the books. Very nice. Gilo saying, good Lord, all the, all the Otani that I've seen were pulled at Jaspi's Hobbyland. That's right, Gilo. That's right, Christian Williams. Joe pulls heat. Jaspi's Hobbyland where magic happens. We have that extra bit of je ne sais quoi, extra bit of something. I don't know what it is, but we like to have fun. We keep it loose. We stay positive, and then we get to witness some cool things. And if you're bold enough to join a break, you may be you may be the person getting the cool things too. So thanks, everyone. I was close on that Twins pick. Going back to my Twins, I was close on that Twins pick, though. They only lost by one run. They got three in the top of the ninth, but they didn't quite get there. The Royals' bullpen maybe would have would have ruined it. Almost did ruin it for them. And then, if, and then the last game of the night that I have is that Colorado game, and they are up 11-9 to nine now on the Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks still have the bottom of the ninth. Rockies are in the top of the ninth. Looking for maybe an insurance run or two. So we'll see how that game plays out. If that happens, and I got the Colorado Rockies at plus 125, I think. A little bit of an underdog. Three wins, two losses on the day. I'll take that every day. We'll have more picks tomorrow for fun. I figure, hey, eventually... All of this is going to be legal in most states in the United States. Supreme United States Supreme Court. 
made the ruling, and I figure that this is going to be a lot more prevalent. May as may as well get uh, start getting used to doing this a little more regularly. Adds a little spice to the game. I'm only betting a couple pennies here and there, but adds a little spice to the spice to the baseball game. It's a sport that I would watch anyway, so why not add a little action to it? For those of you, I know we, we've got a lot of people spread around. Uh, well, we do we do broadcast from coast to coast and all around the world. Um, how is your state, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you watching live, how is your state responding to that U.S. Supreme Court allowing sports gambling now? Nice Walker Bueller, future ace for the Dodgers. David Duffy with that one. Relation to Danny Duffy, David? Future Dodger ace, Dodger Joe Mojo. That's 78 out of 99. I think New Jersey's already doing it, right? Delaware also doing it already. So I think, I'm not sure where exactly you can go. There's Mookie Betts. I think maybe some of the the major horse racing tracks around there have already geared up to, to be able to accept um, single game wagers, sports bets. And have built like sports books and sports bars and stuff like that out there. There's Mike Trout Diamond Kings to two ninety nine. So I think um, nice Dylan Peters autograph for the Marlins. That'll be for Dustin Hughes. I think that's where that's where people can can go now. And I think I read something on ESPN Chalk where Delaware or was it uh, New Jersey maybe in their first two weeks. It's Dustin Fowler uh, two ninety nine. First two weeks of accepting bets, I think they already made like sixteen million dollars or something like that. But eventually, all the all the states will make some sort of decision. Um, decision on that. From my understanding, California will probably be, we're a little regulation heavy out here, California will probably probably be among, be among the states that take the longest to make any sort of serious decision on, on how to introduce that, if at all. Most, most states, it's states' rights issues, so I think states will, some states will just be like, no, we don't want to do it. Some states will be like, yeah, we're all for it. Um, oh yeah, no, sorry, Bill, Bill Mosher. I saw I missed your question earlier. Are Otani's not over a thousand dollars anymore? No. I mean, there's just a lot more on the market now. Optic value, you know, if we're splitting hairs, optic value a little bit on the lower side, just because, um, say compared to the Topps Chrome version of this, uh, because of, uh, the lack of logos, team logos on their hats and you know, it's only cities on here. So I think that depresses the value a little bit, but Otani still sells pretty strong, relatively speaking, So, which speaks to the popularity of this product alone and, and the player. But yeah, there's a lot, lot more out there now. I think it's his, it's his Bowman cards, I think, that people will consider really like the, the main rookie auto to, to chase and to follow. So I think that's the one that's going to still carry those uh, the heavier price tags. Now the lower number of Otani's out of here, which and there are a lot of parallels here. And this might be a parallel hot box. Those are actually, you know, those will still carry a heavy resale value as well. But just the regular autographs still do all right. Well worth, well worth the chase. Um. Bill is saying that, uh, oh, and Gilo, I don't know if retail optic is out yet. Does anybody else know? And a 299 for the Indians, Javier Baez, Jose Ramirez, Chris Sale. And your autograph is Luke Weaver. Luke plays with Bader, Darth Bader. Guys, think about that, Star Wars fans. They must have a hell of a Star Wars night out there in the STL. 
It was Ken Griffey Jr. Zach Cozart to 50. Trevor Story for the Rockies to 149. Chris Archer Diamond Kings to 199. <laughs> Dylan Singh Bowman High Tech Otani releases 822. High Tech should be a lot of fun. Not a 299. We love that stuff. JD Martinez out of 99. Great signing by the Red Sox. Everyone said that that would be a perfect place for him to land. That's where he went. There's my boy Alex Verdugo. Progress a little blocked by the glut of outfielders in the Dodgers organization. Goldie out of 199. Rocky still at bat in the top of the ninth. Noah Syndergaard out of 299. Matt Carpenter, 91 out of 199, just went ham. And that's Victor Robles. Nice one for the Nationals. That's TJ, rated rookie autograph. Could be a big name in the hobby once he gets a little playing time. Nice. I think this is the first Bo Bichette we've seen. 20 out of 99 for the Blue Jays. Nice one for Dustin Hughes. Bo Bichette and Vlad Guerrero Jr. The, the spawn of those baseball players should be big names in the hobby. Well, now... Definitely next year when you're going to see them featured in more products. Sorry, Blue Jays fans. Mejia got traded for Brad Hand. Sorry, uh, apologies to Blue Jays fans in advance for your Blue Jays being really expensive next year. All right, next box. Uh, no, not yet, Gilo. Bo and Vlad Guerrero Jr. will have autographs in this stuff, I think, next year. I think... I think both Panini and and Tops are featuring this guy this year and planning to probably go heavier on Vlad Guerrero Jr. and Bobachet next year. But I think if you still buy like whenever what year whatever year they got drafted, if you can still probably find their Bowman boxes and try to search for autographs there, but I think those are probably they cost probably a lot more than its original price when it first came out. Um, going back to, uh, to, to to sports gambling, Bill saying Massachusetts will screw it up because they make so much money off the lottery. The, uh, the Pauls don't want to lose that tax revenue, but won't won't they make? I feel I th I would think that would make more more money off of the sports wagering. No, I, I, I mean unless the is the lottery that huge there. Not really a big lotto guy. I tried the Mega Millions tonight. Didn't work. Uh, Gilo saying Missouri is likely to roll around with it, but not for a while. A little old-fashioned Gilo saying. Wow, you can't play fan Yahoo Fantasy Baseball Pro Leagues anymore in, Ma in Missouri? That's kind of crazy. Dylan says he's going to stick with FanDuel. Or you're still stuck with FanDuel. Yeah, we're, we're in California. We're, we're going to be stuck with FanDuel and DraftKings and offshore books for a little while. Dustin Hughes saying that Vlad does have autos in this? Guerrero Jr.? If so, we, Blue Jays' price might be should, should be a lot higher. Bill Mosher saying, as someone who, who may place a, a wager on occasion, a penny or two here and there, The Colorado Rockies over underlines must be ridiculous. They are, especially in uh, when they're playing in Colorado. I didn't think that Guerrero had. You're oh he, right, because they have um, they have rated prospect cards now, so he does have an autograph in here, folks. For the Blue Jays. Are we undercharging the Blue Jays? Dustin, did you get the Blue Jays? You did. Did you get a good deal on the Blue Jays? Too good? No, that's a good deal. No, that, that, that's spot on. That's a good price. That's a fair price, Dustin. Not over, not under. I think it's spot on. I think it's spot on. Same as ever. All right, okay. Spot on. Out of 199, Yohan Mankata. I'll save one of these rated rookie Otanis too for the Angels. Yohan 
Andrew McCutcheon. See, that's what I'm talking about, folks. Value. Dustin Hughes, with knowledge of the checklist, was like, yeah, Vlad Guerrero Jr. autos are in here. You know, he was like, glad, gladly pulled the trigger, sixty nine ninety nine for the Blue Jays in a 12-box break. See, that's that's what I'm talking about. Study that checklist. Value is there. Some people might look at that and be like, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a bargain. There's Eric Fetty, rated rookie autograph for the Nats. Another one for TJ in the Nationals. And we've got another Walker Bueller autograph. Yes. Walker Bueller, rated rookie autograph. Orange parallel, a little Jaspy orange parallel. Another one for David Duffy. And my Dodgers, 40 out of 75, Dave. Nice. So a couple of those for you. And that's that for this box. We are halfway through this break, folks. We're making good time. This is our last break of the night, though. We will be calling it after this. Um, if you want to hang out for another half hour, which won't be very long as we chit-chat a little bit, hang out, um, I will be posting a fresh case of Optic Baseball for tomorrow, direct right after I finish this break. So if you want to wait, stick around and, um, and try to snag your team before everyone else does during the show tomorrow... Wait up. Yeah, why is Walker Bueller's pen so much fatter than everyone else's? It seems like it seems like he got he's using like you know, pressing down too hard or maybe using the blunt end of the pen. I have no idea. Uh, Gilo saying Gabe saying I met a guy that works at a at, at FanDuel at a bar right after FanDuel and DraftKings got caught exchanging info with each other. I remember that. Well, now now they're aren't they aren't they the same company or did that deal not go through? I thought they were merging. Brand Thomas asking new to baseball, what team does Bryce Harper play for? Nationals. Washington, D.C. Nationals. Rockies, are you going to screw this up? Don't screw this up, Rockies. They got men on first and third with zero outs. Come on, Adam Odovino. Unbelievable. All right, looks like... Uh, Maybe another parallel hot box right here. There's a red turn two, Justin Turner from my Dodgers out of 299. Yep, Miguel Sano out of 199. Brian Dozier, Diamond Kings, 299. And Mitch Garver for the. Maybe they're all. Maybe they all got fatter pens. I actually really didn't notice that. Mitch Garver for the Twins. That'll go to Dustin Hughes. There's Bryce Harper right there. Out of 199. There's Alex Verdugo for the Dodgers out of 50. I think that's the Carolina Blue parallel. There's Harrison Bader, Darth Bader out of 149. Robinson Cano out of 299. Paul Blackburn out of 99 for the A's. Josh Donaldson out of 199. And. We've got Nikki Delmonico for the White Sox. TJ with the White Sox. There you go, TJ. Nice. It's 31 out of 50. Aaron Judge to 149. Marcelo Ozuna to 149. We've got Long Ball. Justin Smoke out of 149. Adrian Beltre to 199. Garrett Cole to 299. Long ball, Nelson Cruz to 99. That's for Gabe and the Mariners. Kenley Jansen out of 299. Greg Allen to 199. 
Adrian Beltre, 3,000 hit club variation out of 299. Dallas Keuchel took a no-no through six or seven innings tonight against the Angels. Nice. For the Astros, Gary Sanchez, 99, and Miguel Cabrera. All right, like I said, we'll sleeve and top load all those parallels before they get shipped out. All right, next one. So these last two should be the autographed hot boxes. We haven't seen one yet, but we have seen both. Uh, we have seen both parallel hot boxes. All right. Gabe saying, I did get you that Alex Gordon yesterday. That was exciting. I like that. Get you a Griffey now? Well, we did pull that out of five Griffey from last night's. From last night. Could, could I repeat the magic again in another case? Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Can, can Joe do it? Will this case deliver that magic? We'll see. Uh, I did take a picture of the Griffey. I, I have I have yet to post any. You guys have been keeping me busy, Joe Flores. So I've not had a chance to uh, to do that. Uh, Nick, my I actually forwarded those pictures to Nick Jaspi. He he controls the uh, the Instagram account. So that is um he might have I forwarded those pictures to him. So he might have posted those. Uh, on the IG, at Jaspi's Hobbyland on Instagram. It's actually it's actually right here. See, there's the Twitter, at Jaspi's Hobbyland. Right there. <laughs> yeah. The, the Big Hit Express is running out of steam a little bit, Bill. I'm gonna see how uh, how I do tomorrow. I just need a couple Jamesons tonight, Bill. A couple Jamesons and a uh, and a, and a good night of sleep. I'll be all right. Just uh, just not used to we we we've, we've been we've been lucky with so many like. Like short fun breaks, definitive collection, museum collection. You know, there's Felix Jorge, and then um, and then both Toss and Panini hit us with like Allen and Ginter, huge base heavy products, and then like Donner Softic. So then to ramp up to to that. Wow, there it is. We were just talking about it. Dustin Hughes, rated prospect. I feel like this has happened multiple times today. Uh, we're talking about a certain insert or a certain rip card or a certain player, and that player pops up. Talking about Vlad Guerrero Jr. earlier. Rated prospect autograph. There he is. That's Vlad Guerrero's kid, obviously. Uh, he's, he's supposed to be the real deal. Nice hit. Great one, Dustin Hughes. See? Dustin Hughes staying up late. Nice hit. That is strong. We'll save one of those, too. We'll sleeve one of those up. <laughs> Let's keep talking about Griffey, then, says Gabe. One of the sweetest left-handed swings ever. Why do... Someone answer me this. It's Corey Kluber, Diamond Kings. At a 149. Dylan says rip it. No, we're not going to rip this one. Um, why, why do lefties seem to be the ones with all the sweet swings, folks? It's Joey Votto to 299. Seems to be the lefties, right, that have like the these these beautiful swings. No one, to, no one, people don't really talk about righties very often. In the, in the same way as they do lefty hitters. Maybe it's just me. All right, Rockies hold on to win. 
11 to 10. The Diamondbacks scored one in the eighth. They scored one in the ninth. They crept closer and closer, but not quite get it done. But that's good for me, boys and girls, because went three for two on the day. I'm okay with that. Not not as not as great or three and two W's and L's or if you want to go at bat style. I went three for five on the day. Not quite as great as Matt Carpenter's five for five. But I'm okay with the day. Good. I was a little nervous today. I was like, am I gonna go one for five on the day? One for five is not good. All right, well, and we're almost done on this one, too. Nice Friday night. I feel like it's been, we've been filling breaks from start to finish all day long. I feel like the chat has been really active from start to finish all day long. So thanks, everyone. Um, even even uh, even if you don't join a lot of breaks, folks, if you're, if you're contributing, you know, if you're contributing to the chat in a, in a positive way, maybe encouraging people and, or maybe helping out with hey you know th this these guys have these players and whatnot that helps too that that's part of the it's part of the community as well you know discussing sports topics or random pop culture stuff you know I, I, that helps too so thank you very much everybody it's been a great Friday it's been a great week I know that if I'm if I'm like this exhausted especially on a Friday let alone a Saturday but especially on a Friday then you know that nice Francisco Lindor. You know that it's been a very good week, so thank you very much, everyone. Tribe, Dustin Hughes, who bought a lot of teams in this break, being rewarded. A lot of nice hits. Yeah, Griffey Swing was was very pretty, Gabe. Um, he's saying, there he is right there. And it almost sounded like the crack of the, his bat was different, too. This is what, what people say. You know, like... The crack of the bat, the sound of the bat is a lot different from, from a lot of different players. Like people used to say last year before he really exploded, Aaron Judge, his bat sounded different when, when he hit, even if it was just line drives. There's you, Darvish. People said that about, I think, Ronald Acuna Jr., you hear that too. Saw him at batting practice. You know, people would be like, yeah, I saw him at batting practice. It sounds, you know, it just sounds different. There's Luis Gohara. Uh, rated rookie autograph for the Braves, Sen Yin. All right, there you go. Sammy's corked bat. That's right. Remember Sam. Remember Sammy Sosa's corked bat. Who was the player that had a, had 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 those super balls, those bouncy balls in his bat? Everything about where do you? Where do you go to get a corked bat? Can't you just get a lighter bat? Like I, 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 maybe I don't. Maybe I don't understand the physics behind the corked bat. I get that it makes it lighter, but but can't you just get a lighter bat? And who corks the bat for you? Who does that? Is it is it something that Sammy Sosa did himself? Have you ever thought about the mechanics of that? Like I don't there's no like there's no like bat drilling store shop down the street, right? You know, is there like a you just go to the wood shop guy and he just drills a hole in there, slides out a, a core of the bat, fills it with some cork, and that's it? Do you get cork shaped for the for the for the hole that you drill, I, I don't understand the mechanics of how this works. Who does it? Is this like a, one of the clubhouse guys can do it? That's kind of shady. What if he sells you out? Maybe you pay him off. 
I have no idea. Uh, Bill Mosher, I was not a Cub Scout. No, did not did not do the scouting. My sister did the scouting. She scouted all the way all the way through high school. I think she got like I think she did whatever the the female equivalent is of the of becoming an Eagle Scout or something like that. Joe Flores says you've seen a video of someone making one. Very odd. Must be very odd. Maybe we should go to YouTube. YouTube may have videos like that. That's that's what YouTube was made for, right? Giancarlo Stan to one forty nine. If I were a Cub Scout, Bill, would they teach me how to cork a bat? Drill a hole into a bat, take out all the stuff, and then. In my head, I, I see a very cartoony image of, of like one of those old hand crank drills going into it with like little curls of, of wood coming out. There's Shohei Otani red to 99. Nice. And Bernie Williams. Nice. Significant signatures, Bernie Williams. 12 out of 20. Nice low number for Dustin and the Yankees. Nice. <laughs> nice, Bill. Starting your life of uh, of crime, right? Bill Mosher, you're on the record now, too. This is being recorded. Said, I got kicked out of Cub Scouts because Granddad essentially corked your Pinewood Derby car. Okay, I'm familiar with that. Corked the Pinewood Derby car, <laughs> causing you to win. So I guess, I mean, I guess there are ways. There are it's a good woodshop guy. Nice gold, Ryan McMahon. He's four out of ten. Nice low number for the Rocks. Dustin with that one. We'll sleeve that top loader right away. That's a lower number. All right. So someone's got a. Someone might be Gilo Gabe. Someone might be listening to this video, the replay of the video, the next day, and they're yelling at their laptops trying to tell us what the physics of all this is. There's Kyle Farmer for the Dodgers. That'll be going to David Duffy. But I'm with you, Gabe. The cork bat doesn't make sense to me either, he says, especially the physics of it. Wouldn't it just break easier? Yeah, it's lighter. Doesn't have the density. Like, I... Someone's got to explain this to me. So Bill is saying for the Derby car, and I don't recommend this to any of our Cub Scouts listening. Do Bill Mosher is a, is a cautionary tale, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls. Cautionary tale. But earmuffs, parents, if you want to earmuff your kids, he basically hollowed out the wood, filled it with washers, causing it to go really fast. Right, because you, you got the... You got the weight there, a little little lower center of gravity, and then with the down downward uh, gravity, you can get some speed there. See, I get the physics of that. Like in my head, I can get the physics of that. It's like uh, sometimes if you make like a uh, like a paper airplane. You know, sometimes if you get if you use a kind of larger heavy like construction paper or something like that, make a nice big paper airplane. You put like a, maybe like a paper clip on the bottom of the airplane. Or depending on how thick the paper is, maybe you can use like, maybe even use like a dime, and tape it on top of the plane or something like that. And you launch it, you get to, the wind doesn't blow it around. That weight kind of helps it, help that paper airplane go faster. And steadier. You can aim it better. Less, uh, Let's battle against the wind. But the cork bat, I, I'm, I still, I, I'll look it up. I guess we'll look it up. Stay tuned tomorrow for Joe's book report, Joe Jaspi's book report on uh, on corked bats. Show starts three o'clock Pacific, 
6 o'clock Eastern on Saturday, our last night of the week. So these should be the autograph hot boxes, by the way. There's Mike Trout. Angels with some nice stuff. The Otani autograph, the Otani parallel. Pretty strong. All right, for the Diamondbacks, Jimmy Scherfe. Rated rookie autograph for Dustin Hughes. Last spot mojo for the Snakes. We got a green Mookie Betts. That is four out of five. That continues my train whistles. Maybe there's a lot of train whistles in these stuff anyway, but... Nevertheless, continues my train whistle streak. Each case I've done, this is break five, has had a train whistle. Two one of ones, and now three out of fives. I like the Mookie bets. Four out of five? One, two, three, four out of five for Dustin. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. And these optic parallels... Ladies and gentlemen, they, they, they actually sell pretty well on a secondary market if, if Dustin were so inclined to do something like that. Or just great for the great for the personal collection, great for anybody's personal collection. Austin Hayes. That goes to the O's. Kip, Kip, hooray on the board. With the future, Kip. Brighter days ahead. All right, I like Austin Hayes. We've got Richard Urena. For the Blue Jays, Dustin Hughes with the Blue Jays. Well, I I, I had to gear up for it. <laughs> Joe Flores like had just enough juice for a train whistle, huh? Uh, that's why I'm I'm like LeBron James, Joe Flores. You know, I'm managing I'm managing my minutes. You know, there's Josh Hader. Do you crush a kid for being 17 and dumb? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, in the social media age, fair or not, that's what happens, Josh Hader. Dustin Hughes. Great arm, though. But yeah, I'm, li I'm like uh, Joe Flores. I'm like, I'm like LeBron James. Man manage my minutes. You know, take take rest when necessary just so I can gear up for a good train whistle. When I need to do it. Out of 125, there is uh, Max Freed for Sen Yin. And long ball leaders insert 21 out of 99 for the Dodgers. Joe Jaspi, the LeBron James of case breakers. I don't know how some of the other guys do it. There, there, are, some, there, there, there are some other guys that... Uh, that seem like they could, uh, they can, that they, they they're on air for like, I don't know, seemingly twelve hours at a time. But I don't know how they do it. Although I think that those guys, maybe they, I don't think they're as active on air, like on, on camera, the way Jaspies kind of patterns their show, our show, my show. Uh, I don't think they do that as much. So maybe that's the trade off. Nick Jaspie is, is my J.R. Smith. Oh, Nick Jaspie, not J.R. Smith. Nick, Nick Jaspie. Jaspie's more like Kevin Love. Probably underrated, but but very valuable to the Jaspie offense. Are they going to move... Uh, Are they going to move Kevin Love? I don't know. We should do a basketball break tomorrow. Talk hoops. Manana. All right. We'll do a quick randomizer at the end for those points as well. If there happens to be another points card, we'll just add that to that pile. Winner take all. Another five autographs, ladies and gentlemen. This is the end of break number five. 
Um, stick around if you're watching live because I'm going to be posting uh, break number six and then signing off. Andy, Andy Garner in the house. Andy, your Rangers crushed me. <laughs> no, they didn't. I, they were long. They, they were. They were long. They were big dogs anyway. Plus one sixty-eight, Andy. I thought they were going to do it though. That when they had the bases loaded, that was their chance. But Andy Garner says, remembering last year's optic, each case had a train whistle on average. Oh, okay. So maybe it's a little more common than I thought. All right, there's Tyler Maley. That's for the red legs. That goes to Dustin Hughes. Would I ever do an optic random team? Maybe. Out of 125. But as long as these picker teams are selling so well, probably, probably not anytime soon. There's Manny Machado, new Dodger. Nice debut for him. Orioles with that one, of course. We've got Paul Blackburn Rovers, the old Premier League team. Oakland A's, Kip Kip Hooray with Paul Blackburn Rovers. Reese Hoskins uh, to 99, year in review parallel. Luis Severino, Hirano, Should be three more. Oh, Dustin Fowler, another Oakland A. Didn't this happen yesterday, Kip? I think the last, no A's, and then like the last box had like a couple. Just kind of make up for it. All right, so there's the Dustin Fowler autograph for Kip. And we've got one more here. We've got Thomas Nito, hollow rated rookie autograph for Dustin Hughes and the Metropolitans. That is one, two, three, four. There should be one more autograph. There should be five in the hot box. There it is. All right, behind Corey Kluber is Andrew Jones. Braves edition. That's the only edition. I, you don't want to remember Andrew Jones as anything else. Sen Yin, not fat Andrew Jones in L.A., you want, like, sweet swing, slick field in center field, Andrew Jones with his beautiful autograph out there in center, Manning center field for the Atlanta Braves. Nice autograph right here. Not numbered, but still very nice and a nice way to end this break, ladies and gentlemen. That goes to Sen Yin and the Bravos. Bravo. All right. The points, consolation prize for most. Thanks for joining the break, though. Let's go to random.org. Let's get some dice. Let's get a blank list. Let's go from, or could be a cherry on top for some of you who had a nice break. Either way, good luck, everyone. Let's randomize that list. Snake Eyes, two times. Thanks, random.org. Low number late at night. I like the low numbers late at night. One and two. Goes to Robert Watch the Throne on top. King. Right there. So there you go, Robert. little uh, extra consolation right here for the points. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeeshobby.com. Check out our website for more group breaks. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. Good night.